You have already proved and used a very important theorem on right angle triangles. Can you recall it? Yes, it is the Pythagoras theorem. This theorem states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Let's drop a perpendicular from the vertex of the right angle of this right angle triangle as shown. Do you know that we get three right angle triangles that are similar? Observe that triangle RSQ is similar to triangle QSP and triangles RSQ and QSP are similar to triangle RQP. This result can be generalized as a statement. The statement would be if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse, then the triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole right angle triangle and to each other. This statement is in fact a very important theorem of right angle triangles. Let's prove this theorem. The theorem states that if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse, then the triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole right angle triangle and to each other. We are given a right angle triangle PQR such that it is right angled at Q. Also, perpendicular QS from the vertex Q to the hypotenuse RP is given to us. We have to prove that triangles RSQ and QSP are similar to triangle RQP and triangle RSQ is similar to triangle QSP. Observe that in triangles RSQ and RQP, angle R is common. Also, angles RSQ and RQP are equal as both measure 90 degrees. Therefore, triangle RSQ is similar to triangle RQP by AA similarity. Now, consider triangles QSP and triangle RQP. In both triangles, angle P is common. Also, angles QSP and RQP are equal as both measure 90 degrees. Therefore, triangle QSP is similar to triangle RQP by AA similarity. Hence, from equations of steps 3 and 6, we can say that triangles RSQ and QSP on both sides of perpendicular QS are similar to the whole right angle triangle RQP. It can also be concluded from the above equations that triangle RSQ and triangle QSP are similar to each other. Let's now use this theorem to prove the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. We are given a right angle triangle PQR which is right angled at Q. We have to prove that the sum of the squares of the sides RQ and QP to be equal to the square of the hypotenuse RP. Draw QS perpendicular to PR. Observe that triangle RSQ is similar to triangle RQP by using the theorem that states that the triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole right angle triangle. The ratio of corresponding sides of similar triangles is equal. Cross multiplying the equation of step 2, we get the square of side RQ to be equal to the product of RS and RP. Similarly, triangle QSP is similar to triangle RQP by using the theorem that states that the triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole right angle triangle. We know that the ratio of corresponding sides of similar triangles is equal. Cross multiplying the equation of step 5, we get the square of side QP to be equal to the product of SP and RP. Add equations of steps 3 and 6, we get the sum of the squares of sides QP and RQ 
to be equal to the sum of the product of SP and RP and the product of RS and RP. Now take RP common from the equation. Next, simplify to get the sum of the squares of the sides RQ and QP to be equal to the square of the hypotenuse RP. Now, let's prove the converse of the Pythagoras theorem which states that in a triangle, if the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle. We are given a triangle PQR such that the sum of the squares of the sides PQ and QR is equal to the square of the hypotenuse PR. We need to prove that angle Q is a right angle. Let's construct a triangle XYZ such that PQ equals XY, QR equals YZ and angle XYZ equals 90 degrees. As triangle XYZ is a right angle triangle at Y, then by Pythagoras theorem, the square of the hypotenuse XZ is equal to the sum of the squares of the sides XY and YZ. By construction, side PQ of triangle PQR is equal to side XY of triangle XYZ. Also, side QR of triangle PQR is equal to the side YZ. Therefore, square of XZ is equal to the sum of the squares of PQ and QR. It is given that the sum of the squares of sides PQ and QR is equal to the square of hypotenuse PR. Therefore, the square of side XZ of right angle triangle XYZ is equal to the square of side PR of triangle PQR. From the equation of step 3, we conclude that side XZ is equal to side PR. Thus, from the equation of step 4 and by construction, we get triangle PQR is congruent to triangle XYZ by SSS congruence rule. Hence, by corresponding parts of congruent triangles, angle PQR is equal to angle XYZ. Therefore, angle PQR is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. PQR is an equilateral triangle such that PL is an altitude drawn from point P on side QR. Prove that thrice the square of PQ is equal to four times the square of the altitude PL. An equilateral triangle PQR is given to us such that PL is perpendicular to the side QR. In triangles PLQ and PLR, angle PLQ is equal to angle PLR as each angle is right angle. As it is given that triangle PQR is equilateral, side PQ is equal to PR. Side PL is common to both triangles. Therefore, triangle PLQ is congruent to triangle PLR by RHS congruence rule. Hence, by corresponding parts of congruent triangles, QL is equal to LR. As a result, point L is the midpoint of side QR. Therefore, the length of QL is half the length of QR or half the length of PQ. Now, use Pythagoras theorem in the right angle triangle PQL to get the square of the hypotenuse PQ equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides PL and QL. Using the equation of step 8 in an equation of step 9, we get an equation as shown. On simplifying the equation of step 10, we get 3 times the square of PQ to be equal to 4 times the square of altitude PL. angled at R. If T is the length of the perpendicular from vertex R to PQ and PQ is equal to R, QR is equal to P and RP is equal to Q.
Then, prove that the reciprocal of the square of T is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the squares of P and Q. A right-angled triangle PQR is given, which is right-angled at R. Also, a perpendicular RS from vertex R to QP is given. We have to prove that the reciprocal of the square of T is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the squares of P and Q. As the area of the triangle is half the product of its base and height, the area of triangle PQR is half the product of R and T. Also, the area of triangle PQR can be written as half the product of base Q and height P. From the equations of steps 2 and 3, we get the product of R and T to be equal to the product of P and Q. On rearranging the equation of step 4, we get the value of T in terms of P, Q and R. Now, square both sides of the equation of step 5 and then take the reciprocal. Substitute the value of R square in the equation of step 6. On simplifying the equation, we get the reciprocal of the square of T to be equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the squares of P and Q.